Well, we've been here for eight years, and uh, over over that time, we built the features that we're going to show you, and those are the features that we are uh, going to preserve. Mm -hmm. And right now, there's uh, different different areas. There's seven seven students doing different kinds of projects with you know on on this site and with the materials that we make. So the, um, uh, I guess the, the key thing is that the um, next, next Wednesday, the Board of Health and uh, the New York City DEP are coming here for a uh, for a tour, kind of very similar to the tour you get, only thing there'll be wood chips down there. <laughs> but uh, it would have been for you. Oh, but well, no. stop! I blew it. I blew, I blew a, a brake line in that machine. That's why it's over in the corner. But the um, uh, the key thing is that we are able to take waste mm -hmm. and turn it into a product that is so valuable that we can take this waste for nothing. And like last year, we handled, uh, Josephine and I handled 35,000 tons of material, mm -hmm. right? Which is, for two people, is an incredible amount. You know, it's an incredible amount of material. And we converted every single bit of that material, except for the litter I kind of pick up all the time, into product, which we were able to uh, enter the market. And... <clears throat> The, this facility is, is an ideal place to do that, that do, that, do that kind of work. And it, it's very valuable because of that, because you can process that much material here, more, because we only use half the site, forever. Right? Forever. Are we trying to just bash her food waste? No. <laughs> We're talking, you know, 10% of the leaves from Westchester County. Oh, We're talking yes, about okay. all of the... Here. The, okay. Yeah, yeah. All, all, right. all, and all get, of the... Bash her food waste is waste about from, yeah, that's new pulse, a ton right? a day. You're getting the wa day? food waste from yeah. New Paltz, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get a day sounds like a lot of waste. It, it is. God. It is. Yeah. Considering that uh, probably... Probably more than half of it is food that's cooked and never served. What stage it is. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this is this is really our starter culture. You know, getting back to these branches. That was really cool. That looks like good stuff. So this is this is screen compost. Uh huh. And this. So if someone comes to you to buy stuff for their garden, right? This is the stuff. Right. And then this is garden soil. Oh. Okay. okay. So this is has an organic content of about six percent, and the rest of it is minerals. Minerals. Yeah. yeah. So the key things. Hi. Right, Hello. Key things How are you? All right, yourself. Good. Hi. Hey. I'm Josephine. Gary. Hi, Gary. Hi. I Steve. Might be, but I didn't want to Hi, make Steve. Steve. assumptions. Hi, I'm Robin. Hi, Robin. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Hi. Nice, huh? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. We're just beginning to appreciate it. That, you know, like yeah. the same in my office. There are piles and there are piles. <laughs> and they may look exactly the same <laughs> yeah, to the untrained yeah. eye, but I know. Had to turn them into something productive, well, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're hope. hoping, right? Right, right? Yeah. So the key thing is. is uh, from a gardener's point of view, is that there's no weeds. Uh -huh. So as you look at this, there's nothing growing in it, there's nothing sprouting, yeah, there's nothing at all, right? 
so that when you put this down, your plants have a, have a chance and you have the opportunity to make a weed-free garden. And uh, that is the, the uh, I was telling Gary before he came, what we believe that we have done is we have uh, advanced gardening technique to a level that really hasn't been achieved before. Because we are able to make and really mass produce these products. And what makes it su sustainable is that this is the material that's generated from the maintenance of our ecology. Right, so as long as there, there are this urban suburban uh, ecology, these materials are going to be generated. Because if, if you don't pick up the leaves, they clog up the storm drains and flood your basement. Right? I think this is a piece like of hmm? actually. You, a what about this kind of stuff? Like are you going to grind that up? or? Well, no. That's going to break down? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That'll so normally... Down. That's incredible. This, this takes three years to break down. Okay. Right? So this, this is last year's. Yeah. And oh, so you've got... Over there. He's, oh, he's this got the funny. inventory. It's all dated like wine. You know, it's so not it, ready yet. This is, what we, this <laughs> is the 2009 <laughs> vintage. Yeah. yeah, those leaves are 2008, right? That I just yeah. composted. Mm, it's a We're good year. We're probably holy crazy, so <laughs> it really <laughs> helps. Yeah. You ever yeah. see the, the point, <laughs> the animated yeah. film? There's a tree. Yeah. And says like, there is a blend. You can right. sort of have like way too much of that big stuff too. But you know, it's funny. It's generated in such a way as the season goes that you it's get kind of it working just, for yeah you. it works yeah. yeah it seems to work it's really interesting because well. when, when i first started doing recycling you want one of the things we try to teach people there is no such thing as a way you can't throw yeah. things away and this That's is like the next step exactly. is the next step is you wouldn't even want it to go away if you could we're going to use it yeah you know exactly. it's valuable well we say you know we try to the educational part we do is to change the way you think from right. this disposable thinking to this you know recovery that's what I said. That's why the argument we always made to the cities and towns why, and businesses: Why do recycling? Well, how much money are we going to make? Is it going to have a return? Yeah. I said, No. You do it because it changes the mindset, yeah. and to not do it continues the wrong mindset. So, well, one of the things I think is <laughs> so. <clears throat> what? So what we've done is we have created here a uh, a system that we want to replicate. Right, but not not exactly. Uh, but we've we've taken we've created something that the the students study, you know, very very extensively. And there's a student that that has put together a 50-page paper on how this cycles nitrogen. And the nitrogen cycle is the most important cycle. We always so, hear about that's what we're as we look at expanding our operation. That's what we're looking to. Uh, bring to uh, other municipalities, and other municipalities are taking a serious look at that. Because, for example, the town of Poughkeepsie is currently paying about 80, 80 to a hundred thousand dollars a year to ship their leaves out and have them processed. Uh -huh. So that they are seriously look at looking at exchanging a piece of land, which which is now a dump, right? Okay. Uh, but it is big enough to, to do a, a process like this. They have 70 acres, kind of one, one mile from here in this direction. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at how they can work a, uh, this system to replace Vassar Farm, right? So uh, that, you know, so that's, that's what we're looking at in terms of the big picture. 